Hey, what's going on guys? Ice Crab here today. Back. It is the 2nd of 2019. July 2nd. Not that's January. Jeez, I'm already crazy. January 2nd, 2019. And I got a game for you. Actually, we're gonna start this early because we so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk and then I'm just gonna shuffle through some stuff because I want a certain map. And if we don't get a certain map, I'm going to be triggered. So hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. So I went to. We had like Christmas, right? A family celebrates Christmas. If you don't, it's okay. I'm not. It's not about Christmas right now. Um, I had. I got. Let me count here. Ten new games over Christmas. Ten new, all Xbox One games, and I'm gonna be playing them on and off, maybe live stream, you know, that kind of thing. Um, here's what I got. Okay. And if you don't know what you're seeing on the screen, which you should, but if you don't, we're going to get there. I got Black Ops 4, okay, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Fallout 76, Madden 19, Shadow of War, uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War, Dying Light, Dragon Age Inquisition, State of Decay, and State of Decay 2, and then Madden 18. Okay. Out of all of those games, this here is my favorite. And I've been playing this game. The second I put it in, I downloaded it. I've been playing this non-stop, like, since then, basically. Uh, so we're going to try and max out our character's actual health here. So what, ooh, that's a pretty good guy. He's, he's thick. All right. So what we're doing is, ooh, he's, ooh that's even better. Uh, come on, give me a, okay, that's not bad. I think we should try and get these two up. Um, basically, this is State of Decay 2. Now, if you haven't played State of Decay 2, if you only played State of Decay 1, or if you haven't played anything, it's basically The Walking Dead, but real life, but like a game. And you're like, wait, what do you mean by that, dude? We have Walking Dead games. But this is not a story-based game. This is um, a community-based game, right? So these are your people, and then you go out, and you find supplies, and you bring it back to your base. And there's, like, there's, there's conflict, and there's all kinds of stuff. And it's not really a story, but it's more of um, a fetch quest, the game, essentially. That's basically what it is. It's basically a giant fetch quest. Whoa, that person has so much health. Um like no cardio but we can we can upgrade that um ah, but they need cardio to fight bro right, we're gonna keep looking uh let's see even better right there all right we're gonna keep looking because you wanna i'm trying to uh get as high numbers as i can that's not too bad i think that that's great that's great right there um so now this guy's behind so we want over 120 and over 115 it looks like On. I'm just randomly generating characters and I'm just trying. Oh, I think I just missed one. I'm just trying to get them to be as strong and um, fast as possible. Well, not fast, but like durable, I guess you could say. Um, so we're trying to get that over 115 or 110. Let's just drop it to 110. We'll do 120 and 110. Come on, give me somebody, you can do it. Just cycling people this way. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so you see, I don't know if you can. Uh, you kind of can. Um, like the hearts and the person running, you want to get that as high as possible. Now, this is my not my first game. So if you play your very first game, you actually get, uh, you select two characters, and then you go through, like, um, a camp. And, uh... Like an army shelter, fall, like an army, yeah, basically, like an army base. And then while you're searching the army base, there's like zombies everywhere, and you're like, oh no, the whole thing's gone bad. And then what ends up happening, oh, I'm editing the screen, I don't know how to do that. What ends up happening is, while you're looting it, your um, companion, like whoever you're not playing as, the second person, gets bitten by the blood plague. And we'll get to what that means uh, when we start playing the game but you have to then heal them 
like, so you have to go out and get meds. Um, and you have to find stuff to cure the bug blood plague before they die. And that's that's kind of cool, I guess, but then it kind of spirals down this path of um, doing things that the game makes you do. And you get four characters off the bat instead of three, but I'm going to play this one um, so we get our own, like... It's like our story, you know. We don't, we're not, we're not really controlled by the game at all. There's nothing the game can do to control our actions, and that's really what I'm going for right now. So now that we're five minutes in, let's get on with it. And uh, I mean, I've got two communities right now. I've got the one that has the main game, and then one of these that has a spare game. Now, if it ends up working out that I don't get the location I want, I will delete and restart. Because I really like this one location. And if we don't get it, I'm scrapping. I'll tell you what we get. Come on, please. Dude, I got so good characters, bro. We did. We did. Okay, this is this is my favorite map. And I'm not sure why. I think I've just played it more than the other maps. And I'm just used to it. Um, I'm going to throw these headphones on. And we're going to start playing. But uh, I really like this map. Not me. Last time I had to outrun some angry raiders. Oh, he's an army guy. That's cool. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. Yeah, I'll admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. My headphones are on. Sort of twisted. I'm going to fix that right oh, now. So I can't not hear what they're saying, but I already know what they're saying, so it's all for you. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible, maybe with some room to expand. Okay, so I'm actually going to take this stuff right off the bat. So right here we have rucksacks. And you need to collect these rucksacks in order for your community to survive. So basically, you rely on these rucksacks to um, feed your group when you're at home. And then there's additionally, you also have like regular gear, which your characters can use when they go out on runs. So there's two different things. So for example, you can have a lot of ammo for your players, but when you're not playing them, the community could have no um, ammo at all. And chances are it won't work out like that, um, but sometimes it does. And I mean, I've played a lot of uh, this game on this map. So I know, um, generally where stuff is and then so that's why i really like this map uh, especially if we're doing a youtube kind of show on it so i can kind of like control the situation i guess and then additionally i've learned a lot of stuff uh tips and tricks stuff you should do stuff you really shouldn't do even though it looks like a good idea now um that kind of thing uh, just by playing it i've only had a few days and i'm already actually uh i know quite a bit already so it's pretty good yeah, so we're going to go in here. Uh, I don't usually open the gates. I just kind of climb over the wall. Because if you keep the gates open, they do close eventually, but sometimes zombies can follow you in. And that's stupid. Alright, so part one right here. We have to clear out the... Um, clear out the house. So there's going to be zombies around. Basically, what I'm doing is... In order to uh, claim an, a place, you have to, so yep, you, you can claim places as your own. In order to do that, you have to kill all the zombies, and uh, you can make it an outpost of sorts. And then you can start getting resources from it, or you can make it your home base. Spend five bucks on this place at an auction. I guess we can make it work. Another early investment that's really good if you already have know the game, you know how to do it, and you're just kind of starting out. Or uh, maybe you are going to start a new world and you want to know what I think about I guess it. This will do. Okay, so we can claim the base now. Before anyone else shows up. Yeah, so we can cl claim it now because all the people have. Not uh, a bad idea. Oh, these zombies are dead. So we can go ahead and claim it. Mine. It only sleeps three. I can make it sleep six, I believe. But that is really all you can do. Okay, now. We'll need them to improve this place. So now I've got these materials on me. So I'm going to deposit that ammo. There we go. All right, where is... I think the other guy has health or something. He might have food. Um, I have to go find him real quick. Oh, there's a zombie in the house already. You've got to be kidding. 
Hey, buddy. Give me that. Thank you. We have am even more ammo. So, uh, so we have to go get health and gasoline. So I... Okay. Those ones are a little bit more difficult, uh, but I can still go get them. And we need a car of sorts. So usually there's a car that spawns out at one of these houses. Uh, not all the time. I'm heading out. And I also need to head out to get... Oh wait, I should go get somebody. Um, a tip I definitely recommend is always bring a guy, always bring a follower with you. And in order to pick them, like I don't know what follower to bring, right? In order to get them, you should look uh, in the community. So he's not coming with me, he's already sick, kind of. So we're going to take Danielle wherever she's at. We have to go find her now. Um... Eventually your people might get glitched and if that happens, I'll show you how to fix that like there's sometimes you can't find them You can look around the community for hours and you can't find the person you want as your follower. That's Like it's a problem, but I know how to get past that Okay, so we're going to Who's out here? Somebody somewhere you can kind of look on your map and kind of see where they're at I need you. Come on. I'd sure appreciate it if you help me out. All right, lead the way. And I actually, once we have some gear, I want to see how much gear we have, because you wanna. Okay, yeah. See, I don't want that uh, ammo on me. It's not worth having at the moment. Okay. Do we have any guns? No. Okay, we're pretty much set for what we need. Let's see what you have. You first, amigo. Yes, yeah, so you don't have one character. You play as all the characters, and you level them up uh, individually. So it's actually really cool. So we're gonna go back to you because you have slightly worse gear. So I don't want you to die. Um, uh, another th cool thing I did find out though, if you have guns, okay. So by the time you get guns, which we're gonna get guns like this episode, uh, I know how to get them really early on. Especially, I mean, on this map, on this map, of course. And if you are wondering, okay. If you are wondering, I will go to the, I will visit the other maps, um, after I completely wipe this map of all its resources, I will be Not moving on. Uh, that would be like a season two, so it would be the same characters, as long as they don't die, and, uh, I'll be just be moving on. Um, and if you have guns, and you give your followers guns, as long as there's ammo in the magazine, well, both A, shoot, and B, not actually expend any of the ammo, in the magazine so when you switch over to that character you're still gonna have whatever you left them in bullets so that's kind of cool I feel like because I mean your followers can't just pop off Wow all the ammo actually I'm gonna take that gun instead and Wow okay um, oh I'm into loot I did not expect to find that that early okay Um, so yeah, there is a fast search. I don't do it because when you screw up, all the zombies come, and you can get overwhelmed eventually. Um, usually it's not too bad at the early levels, but as the game progresses and you find A, more and more bad guys and stuff, it gets pretty hard. So we're going to switch over to you now. Because I ran out of inventory, so that's what I like to do. And then if I have a car, usually I'll dump some stuff there. So really what I'm doing, I'm looting these local houses to try and find uh, basic early stuff before we head out and go do the mission, which is climb to the tower. Ugh, the place has been bled dry. Time to move on. Okay, we have to go clear the other area to make it look looted. Why can't everywhere be this quiet? And it, it's completely empty now. Alright, so now we're gonna go over to the, uh, the shed here. There should only be like one or two things in the shed, maybe. Also, I don't run that often and I only sneak um, when I don't have a car and I'm like trying to get around a horde or something. Uh, because for the most part, I mean, you don't really need to sneak. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really see you, which they always do. Um, they just attack you anyway, so it's not really worth sneaking. 
wasting the energy. Wasting the time, really. It's not energy. You don't really spend any energy, you just waste time. The only thing bad about this map, which is not terrible, and I'll, I'll explain that, I guess, too, um, is you have to. Everything is pretty far out. Like, there's nothing that's really close. Um, so you can see the map. Everything's kind of. Everything's spread out. You know, you gotta. It's a drive to get anywhere. Um, and it's not as bad as some people think. Because you will. You do find a good amount of gas here. I mean, there's plenty of gas places um, to fuel up. And then I usually, like have a bunch of extra so I usually just uh, nothing of use keep it around and then take some out because you can if you have extra fuel supply for your community you can take some out of that and then uh, use it for your vehicles and that's the good thing about a follower he can manage the zombies by loot the stuff I like shotguns. Shotguns are actually pretty good because they just they mow down zombies. Um, they're honestly probably the best because A, they're not automatic. They mow down zombies, they do an efficient job, and they do a quick job. And then they also get people good here. too because you don't have to aim when you're shooting people as well. So it's it's a win-win. Looks clear to me. I mean, the range is not the greatest, um, but... Usually using guns as like a last resort anyway, and if it's a last resort, they're out on you anyway. I also jam my guns full because I usually only um, bring a little bit of, only bring one magazine of ammo until my characters are leveled up high enough where they can carry um, three things in their pockets, and then I usually carry meds, um, like food and ammo, as a third option. No place to put that. Okay, so now that inventory is full, so we're gonna back, right, switch back to this guy. Let's see if he can pick it up. I can't carry that. He much. cannot. So what that means is we have to head back to base for a little bit, drop some stuff off, and then we're going to loot that house and then go down. We're not even going to loot anything else. We're just going to go down and look through the um, like the scope area. Uh, I don't know uh, the sightseeing place. Basically, in order to find locations on the map, you have to go to these places, and uh, you'll see locations. So where is that? It's off that way. I think I'm just going to walk across the place. I'm not going to get in there. Um, yeah, so the people want meds. And we're going to get them that. I think I know where to find those. So I dropped all his stuff. Switch over to her. Drop all her stuff. Shit. I think I actually just learned something. Oh, there we go. We learned something. All right. This mechanics. That's okay for later on, but right now it's not really worth it. It's not really interesting. Okay. All right, so we're moving out. We're going to loot this house, and then I said we're just going to run back that way and go get the stuff. I have a feeling that she's going to end up being the leader. Um... So eventually, it's going to come time to appoint a leader to the party, and basically, whoever becomes hero eligible first, um, a lot of people just make them the party leader, but usually I pick the one that usually has the best stats, uh, and I that is upgraded the most, It has the best equipment, because I keep equipment almost personalized towards the people, and that's so I can always run out there with a fresh new face and don't have to worry about gearing up beforehand. Everybody's already pre-geared. That's kind of the idea behind it. And you'll see what I mean when I when we play more, um, we get further into this. This might actually be a long video because I love this game. So I can carry it away playing it sometimes. Also, I take everything. Like I hold, n I almost drop nothing. You know, I make sure I've got all the loot no on me. Because you never know what you're going to need. Basically, that's that's my approach to it. Um, I, I, don't, I haven't really needed too much. But, I, you know, I just don't want to ever fall short on supplies. If I could have 
okay. add more later. Yeah, and I learned that to an even greater extent because it used to be once I was like full on rucksacks. What have another? Nothing to find here. That was the area. Once I was full on rucksacks, I would I like. stop, like collect. Oh, I would collect them, but then I would uh, bust them open and just use the supplies inside. And then all of a sudden, my people are starving because um, I have I didn't keep those rucksacks. And then all of a sudden, I'm not finding that much food anymore, right? I mean, the resources are running dry. So once the resources start to run dry and you've opened a bunch of ruck rucksacks up. You kind of feel stupid because now your people need that, but you opened it up already, you broke it. So it's not great. Also, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll show you what I've started doing uh, a little bit too late in my other game. Uh, that I feel like a lot of players do. Um, well, a lot of people don't do, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that when we get there. It's not really a tips and tricks video, because I don't, as you know, as you guys probably know, I don't like to edit my videos. Like, I care a lot about them, but, um, I'm not the greatest with editing software. And I was, I was trained in, like, Adobe Premiere, and I don't have that. So, that's what I know, and people are like, just learn Movie Maker, and I... Like, I've tried watching videos, and I've tried editing stuff, but it never works. I don't know why. Um, just what I do just doesn't work. So, it's not, not as good as I'd like it to be, basically. Okay, we need meds. While we're down here, we should probably grab meds. Um, we gotta look at this place first. And then I can call in, I can call in like a holiday car, which I might actually end up doing because it's kind of a cheap way to just get stuff. But I don't know if I have enough, I don't have enough uh, currency for that right now. Uh, Mazel tops and stuff, a lot of people oversee them, overlook, like, uh, I don't really, you know, you don't need those. Because you usually just don't use them to fight zombies. But they're not for fighting zombies. They're fighting, they're for fighting plague hearts. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I mean, you'll you'll see it eventually. You'll see what all these terms mean when we get further into the game. Basically, plague hearts unleash plague zombies. And plague zombies, when they bite you, they give your people the plague. And then you have to either heal them, keep them at home for them to rest and, like, get out of it. That kind of thing. But we don't have an infirmary yet, so it doesn't really work. I uh, did not mean to do that. There we go. And so up here got survey mode where you can look around and target locations. Well, not much. Uh, he's still coming up the ladder. Kind of glitched there. There are some glitches in this game still. It's pretty new, relatively. I mean, it came out in May of 2018. Uh, could that spot be any better for an outpost? So it's really recent. Of course I'm making progress. It's me. I've always wanted to drive one of those. I see we have some new neighbors. Think we can trust them? That's enough looking around for now. That looks potentially drivable. Uh, my approach to other people in this game would be the, the more local you are, the, the priority I have over you. So when people like, I need help and they're all the way across the map, like, screw you, bro, I ain't helping you. Um, but if it's kind of a local person, then that's different, right? So these people, I always help these people when they need it because you need them. And they're not always called living humans. Everything changes uh, as the game goes on. But you need people, right? All right, so we're going to head, is that a hospital? Okay, we're going to head here. And then we're going to move down to the mission locations. Because I think they're trying to move behind building materials. And I really don't need them as much as I need med meds. Because without meds, you're screwed. 
because you people get blood plague and all of a sudden everybody's dying and you can't do anything about it and that's not fun so make sure you stock up on your meds also if you haven't noticed i have a brand new microphone um for you guys to listen in and hear what's going on and i really like it i mean I've, i just tested it out again before i did this video i mean i've done some live streams with it people say it's pretty good you know so i just did this and it sounds great so it's good news find useful stuff All right, so I just gave him a med truck pack, so we need that. Okay, so I'm so there's like two there's two locations you can get for outposts, and I'm kind of thinking what they should be. Um, if you've played the game before, oh, see, this is the plague zombie. So if that guy bites me, I get the plague, or I start to get the plague, and then if I play for a lot longer, then I might have it. So you got to you got to put him up in the hospital. But we didn't even build. I haven't even built one of those yet. So I got to be more careful than that. Um, but basically, you get over in base, you get two outposts, and these are just random locations that you want to suck the resources from permanently. Um. So I guess something I've learned is you always want a food one. You always want a food one. And then, because food is the most commonly used resource by your people, right? So having a food one is definitely priority number one. The second thing I probably am going to want is fuel. So I can go re get resources for the other stuff. Uh, third and fourth is water and power. Um, so that requires some upgrading, obviously, because we only have two. Cross this one off the to-do list. All right, so we got that. So now we can oh, return shit. home where it wants us to. Uh, wow, there's a lot of zombies here. So we can head back this way. I mean, I, I usually keep the lights on. Um, I don't know. I like it. Good stuff. So, if you, is he following me, actually? Yes, he is. So, I mean, if occasionally your people, if they're at, either at home or just following you or whatever, they'll just, like, stuff would just, they'll just say, hey, I brought this stuff home. And that's pretty cool. It's kind of funny when they're out on a mission with you and, hey, I brought this stuff home. You're like, what? You know? But, um, it, it's usually uh, pretty cool because then you just have extra stuff uh, they go surviving with. It's not too common, so you can't rely on it as your only source, but it's pretty, it's just extra. Additionally, we also need gas, so I can go get some of that um, real quick. I never get some of that. We could do some running. We could run a little bit, just try to get that uh, stamina up. As long as there's no zombies around, running's okay. Or not a lot of zombies anyway, because I mean, you have to regen, and then you have to get your skins, right? I gotta rest. See exactly what I mean. You have to fight. I don't. I think I just. I think I said. You have to regen to get your skins or something like that. That makes absolutely no sense. So, I did not mean to say that. What I meant to say is you need to regen to fight. And I don't know what I was thinking. It's not figures. Uh, I'm going to get this stuff. I was, I was thinking about just like pretending I didn't say anything. Like, just like. Let's pick up more fuel out there, okay? Yeah, we're gonna get fuel, dude. Don't worry. What else is new? Might be someone here. You don't know. That's why you gotta look to local locations. Because I found a lot of good stuff sometimes in the local locations, like the, the 
The ones right near you. I already got all I can handle. Are you kidding me? See, that's stupid, right? I walked all the way out there. And there's like some materials in the backyard. That's crazy. So we're gonna go drop these off upstairs. Time to get building. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. Okay, so we can. I usually build the infirmary first. And then. Alright. There we go. So we have 132. We need 400 to get a car, a free car. Um. Okay, Don't so those. Do stupid before I get there. That's a new quest. You're the best. Now that's heavy. Right, so we're gonna go drop these off too, and then we're gonna head out um, to go see what those people want, and we're gonna go try and get a car because we kind of need one. I haven't. I don't. I don't have one yet. Usually I have one by now. Uh, kind of early on. Building materials are the most common and the most useless thing if you uh, have built all your stuff already. So, I don't prioritize them. But I still collect them because oftentimes, um, when other communities ask for stuff, they might ask for building materials to upgrade their base or something like that. So you always want to keep um, extra supplies on hand, even when you're out of storage. So you can just go back home, grab a rucksack, and then carry it to people instead of risking your uh, survivors to go find fresh items for the enclaves, which are basically other groups of people. So this here uh, place might have some fuel for us, as well as a car, possibly. It looks like there's one up front. So he's going to stand back there and kind of keep an eye out. Kill the zombies that get local. This will slow me down. That's weird. Like, you see they attack him. What's wrong with you, bro? You're the boss. Yeah, he's freaking bleeding out now. I don't understand. Um, anyways. Alright, we're gonna go up here just in case. Anything up here? Sometimes there isn't, but every now and then. Um, there's food up here to get. Alright, we're going in. We're all clear. We're starting a trend. Alright, so we're looking for fuel collection, and we also want extra gas just for the car. Because usually they either spawn without gas or um, have a little bit of gas, not too much. Sometimes they spawn with all the gas, like full gas, it's amazing. But then sometimes if they're full gas, they're also broken down. So you have to, uh, to find Nothing toolboxes as well. One more location, probably outside. Yep. So we got a little Prius looking thing right here. So usually they do that, they just attack him. I don't understand why he did it the first time. So we are going to throw the stuff in the back. Ooh, we got extra no gear. Okay, we're just gonna fill it up. Oh, I think my game just glitched a little. 
Um, or the recording did. I'm not sure. Hope not. Get out of the way, dude. Don't I have one? No room. Oh. Come on, you gotta like get near the back light. I hate the refuel, like, because it's not where the gas can is, it's in the back somewhere, so. This will fill up the car. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go. I also keep the lights on, just so I can see. to talk to Paige. You Paige, How's it yeah. Going? Okay. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. There's a plague uh, heart nearby. That whole area should be crawling with infected zombies. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. You better gear up before you get started on this one. Yeah, so I think my character so I'm going like to go is a good way to make friends. back home. Um, Let's hope this pays off. We could use arm up, and then we're going to go out there, and we are going to destroy the heart. And we're going to show you guys how to do that. It's actually it's it's getting a little bit going to be a little bit more difficult at this early level, but I feel like I can still do it. Materials are all maxed out, so I'm going to do. Hopefully that place is built. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna need some more meds. I should build the workshop, and then I need to upgrade storage as well. A zombie out here. Okay, that's what happens when you leave the gate open. Okay, the gate is closed, but it might have been open before. Well, that's what happens. So, uh, I'm just going to drop my stuff off. I'm going to keep the bombs. Okay. I wonder. Eh. I think we'll take that. What's this do? Okay. All right. I think this could work. This plan could work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the decoy down. It's going to start screaming beatage. And then we are going to sneak behind the building and uh, shoot a mazel tov. Toss a mazel tov in there to try and destroy the heart. If it doesn't destroy the whole thing, that's not terrible.
Hopefully there's no screamers nearby. Screamers just like they yell really loud and then they bring more zombies to the location that weren't already there. So they're kind of a nuisance. They're one of the three types of bosses. I think there's only... Well, I guess there's four if you kind of heard. Uh, but they're regular zombies. Okay, we got nothing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over here. God, I am so sick of plague zombies. And I'm out. Oh, that's awesome. So he's going to draw him out. That's going to draw him out. Easy, buddy. That sure left a mark. He dies, I swear to God. Time to run. Where is he, bro? Get out of here. Yeah, they also went for you to shoot first, so that's pretty cool. I need a better plan than this. It's hurting. Don't let up now. Gotta get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Gotta get the cure. Okay, so we're gonna loot the area. Whoa, okay. Um, that was a little bit more intense than I wanted it to be. But I think it was okay ish in the end. Look, still more nothing. Um, we have to, probably gonna spend it on him. I think he's worse off than I am. So we have enough to make a cure and deliver the requested amount. See, that's a really bad outpost because the only thing it gives you is a permanent safe area. Like what? 
all of them give you a permanent safe area. So that is a terrible outpost. I don't think we looted all the boxes, but I don't really care. I gotta get my people home. You need something? Exile? Okay, yeah, we need to get this guy home real fast. He I think I think he has it. Yep, he has blood plague. Okay, I've never actually had this happen except in the original. Like the original like mission. So we're gonna we're gonna get him home as fast as we can. day to kill some brainless so we're gonna admit him into the hospital we're gonna make it we're gonna give it to him we're just gonna do all this in one big move so this is how it works go to the infirmary check him in On the cure? If you die, I will kick your ass. If it don't work, then fuck it. There we go. Turns out I ain't quite dead yet. Surprise, surprise. Okay. What we need to do is. This, this is the truck I'm talking about. We're low on supplies. Can we ask around for a good place to ransack? Hopefully it's local. Because I don't have that much I'm gas. Here. I'll get someone on there. No problem. That's not too bad. I'm going to get this out to them. He's actually in the best shape. He might have stuff that we need. Nearly out. Uh, he does not. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so we gotta be this guy. One sixteen over one twenty six. Okay, so we want him. As our followers, so let's go find them. Yes, yeah, so you basically you're looking for the community. You want to take the two healthiest people, even if they're not 100%. Hey, you're still alive. Okay, we gotta get him gear. He has nothing, I don't think. Got a freak over here. We're approaching an hour, bro. I love this game so much. I can't even do anything with it. Um, my episodes are just gonna be so long. Uh, so yeah, so I think uh, we're going to drop this off and we're going to end the episode and then my episodes are just going to be one run kind of games. So every time I return home, that's going to be the end of an episode. What? I 
have it? Oh, no. She's got it. I have to get it then. You've got to be kidding. That's preparation, man. Got to prepare. Make sure you have everything before you go out. See, I feel well equipped to search stuff. But they weren't equipped to do what we had to do, so... Usually, if there is a quest item, I just throw it in the car. Um, if somebody's wanted by another community or whatever. I usually just keep it in the car. And I should probably go back to that system because it worked pretty good. Oh, shoot. We need... To fix this car, bro. I've already destroyed it. Here's all her. Okay. What's going on? Buena suerte, hey, you. Hey, give me a hand here, William. You're the boss. Yes, you want that guy. Hola, amigo. It takes five um, samples to get a cure, so always make sure you're carrying. You have at least five in your base, and if you don't, go get some. the stuff anyway what am I doing this is great we'll remember it when it's our turn with these plague samples I can make something that'll cure blood plague if one of us gets infected what happens to the rest of you if you need it okay um, you know what, we'll make this video over an hour. It's like the first episode of a series. So, uh, I'll go get the meds. Or the food. Yeah, meds, it is meds. I mean, it kind of sucks because you only get one rucksack. But, that's if you stop looking, so... heard out there.
this outpost, really? Dry as a bone. Better move on. I thought there were only, there's only guns here, bro. There can be no meds here. Yeah? You first, amigo. Okay, so this guy has, he has enough gear to like... He has standard amount of gear. He needs a gun, though. I should have grabbed him one. Better than nothing. As far as bugs go, I mean, there's a lot of talk about being bugs in State of Decay 2. There are a lot of bugs, um, but it has definitely been improving. I mean, I've only needed to use the uh, stuck button once, and I was able to get out of it before the trip, before the uh, operation was even completed. So. We got a shotgun. Awesome. Pistols and shotguns are definitely the way to go. Now, if you get a semi-automatic assault rifle, that's a little different. Like, that's a good take. Um, you can't carry that. But I like the other stuff better. You need something? They got me. What up? No, no, you, don't do that. Don't do that. Come help me out. It'll be fun. Vamos. There are a lot of places to loot, so that's that's good. But I do need to save at least one rucksack space for those meds. We've milked this place dry. Fully loaded. Ooh. There we go. Okay, we need to find. We need to find these locations just so it says we've looted them. No more dead heads around here. Yeah, it makes sense my character's tired now. This is where the meds are at. Too far away. 
need something? I'm done here. Rolling now. So if you notice, I'm pretty sure it's a three looted, and I looted that one. Nothing changed. And if it did change, that's kind of cool, I guess. But more to see. And mm -hmm. what are they? I can't carry any more crap. Okay, I need to dump stuff and then go pick up the last of that stuff. I could use more everything, really. Okay, let's get home. Stop the video before it gets too big. Maybe loot this location. Maybe not. Let's yeah. try and take it. You first, amigo. Drop something. Oh, we can drop nails. And then we. This goes nail stack infinitely, I think. Yep. What are they? This is just part of the game, you know. You want to max out. He has no nails. Okay. You want to max out the amount of stuff that you bring with you. Because you don't want to waste. end up wasting the gas going back and forth. Outpost because I don't have any. That is not good. Look alive, kids. We got a loader here. Right, he went off. It's a good thing he can go up closer to the car. That would have been bad because just swarm right there and everything. Or hard. That would have been really bad. I know someone's listening, so come help an old man out.
Oh, did I overfuel again? Oh, I overstacked on. No, no, I'm good. Never mind. I thought I would have overdone the. Uh... So that means we probably we get. Problem here. We need help now. Our neighbors just stole every scrap of medicine we had. How are we See, that's. To Those guys are a little bit far right now. Here we go. What this town needs is law and order. We can't stand by and watch bullshit like this happen. I don't understand why you insist on trying shit like that. How are we supposed to survive with so small a crew? Get more crew members, homie. Chill out. Okay. We need to evaluate our crew and look. See, okay, so. Darn it. Is that John's mission? It is John's mission, so Yeah. Take care, I say. Yeah, this is the apocalypse. Playing nice won't get us anywhere. Hey, give me a hand here, will you? You're the boss. Alrighty. Yeah, so we're going to get out there the next episode. So, yeah, uh, it's been an hour and seven minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed this first episode of State of Decay. It'll be like a series. Uh, if we do a second season, it'd be when we move on to a new location. So basically, after we complete this entire map and there's nothing else to do, season two will start and we'll move on to a new location. So, again, I hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like and a comment in the comment section if you haven't already please do subscribe make sure to follow me on all the social medias at ts underscore iced crab and we'll see you all in the next one i want those fuckers gone